is your heart's desire for those you love? Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of The Daily Devo. I hope you'll also come over and visit me at pastorpete.org. Sign up for our daily email. would love to get these daily devos right into your inbox so you don't have to look for them or count on your podcast provider to bring them up on your phone, but uh, you can get them every single day there on your email. I was reading today in... Romans chapter 10, and this verse, this one singular verse, just jumped off the page at me. And it got me to thinking, and it got me to praying, and it got me to excited, and it got me just a lot of different ways. And so I wanted to share it with you today. Here's what Paul says Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God concerning them is for their salvation. My heart's desire is for their salvation. What is your heart's desire for your kids? What is your heart's desire for your aunts and your uncles, your grandma and your grandpa? What what is your heart's desire for your parents? What is your heart's desire for your spouse? What is your heart's desire for your coworkers or those you go to school with? What, What is your heart's desire for your neighbors? You know, I think if we're honest... Our desire is not always in the right place. I know a lot of parents who, at least on the surface, it seems like their heart's desire is their kids are going to grow up and be professional athletes. Or it seems like their heart's desire is that, you know, their their neighbors would quit playing loud music in the middle of the night. Or it seems like their their heart's desire is more focused on, on something else for their coworkers or for somebody they know. Can I just tell you, I mean, this just really puts it into perspective. I was challenged by this verse because there are people in my life that I have some desires for that that don't line up with this. And it's like the Lord just hit me with a thunderbolt and said, Pete, your heart's desire should be for their salvation. And when that becomes your heart's desire for somebody, it changes your perspective on everything. It changes how you talk, how you pray, how you live. It it changes what you do. It changes your motivation behind who you are. It changes everything when your heart's desire is for their salvation. So I want to challenge you this day to think about all the people in your life and ask you and ask the question, Lord, what is my heart's desire for them? And if it does not line up with God's word, if it does not line up, with God's will, then I would encourage you to repent of that and follow the Lord today and get your heart positioned in the right way. Let me pray for you. Father, we come before you and I thank you so much that you can challenge us in this way. Lord, I thank you that even when our heart's desire is not right, your heart is always desiring the right thing. Lord, we are told in 2 Peter that, uh, Lord, you are patient and that you desire for all people to come to a knowledge of repentance, to come to you so they can live with you forever. So Lord, even when our hearts aren't right, yours is. But Lord, we pray you would make our hearts right because we are your hands and feet. So I pray for everybody who can hear my voice right now, Lord. May their heart's desire, may their prayer be for their salvation and nothing else. For everybody they know. We ask and pray this now in Jesus' name. Amen.